So Magneto is more Professor X than Professor X in X-Men Dark Phoenix. That's how you knew they really messed up. So X-Men Dark Phoenix is a movie based on the Phoenix Saga storyline centered around Jean Grey and is directed by Simon Kinberg. It stars a lot of familiar faces from X-Men Apocalypse like Jennifer Lawrence, James McAvoy, and Michael Fassbender. So you probably saw the thumbnail saying worst X-Men movie and yes I think this is the worst X-Men movie out of all of them. In this review you're going to learn what X-Men Phoenix does wrong, what it does right, and why in my opinion this movie doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of Marvel movies. And don't worry this is spoiler free. So let me start off by saying X-Men Dark Phoenix was doing decent at first. It sets up the main conflict within Jean and the rest of the X-Men with a backstory about her childhood. It gives her a reason to lash out at her friends and Professor X. And then we get to current day and it skips straight to the space mission that you saw on the trailer and this made this part of the movie feel rushed. But the sequence during that space mission was exciting and heart pounding and I thought it was just a little bump in the road. But so good so far. But then the movie takes a sharp turn for the worse, something I think no X-Men movie should ever do, and that is a deconstruction of the X-Men. This movie takes the core aspects of the character that was built up until now and tears them down to try to bring emotional weight to a story that is rushed and lacks clarity. Scott is reduced to a lovesick, useless kid. Storm is just there and is not the wise Storm that we know, the one who takes control and the one is like the older sister to the younger X-Men. Professor X is the protector of the X-Men, but instead of trying to protect them in a way that makes the X-Men believe that he gives a damn, he does the opposite and puts them in danger. Heck, even Magneto in this movie is more Professor X than Professor X. He actually tries to protect the mutants by building a safe haven. It's only until he finds out one of the huge mistakes that this movie makes, which I won't tell you because it is spoilers, but it's only then that he turns aggressive, and even then I'd say he's being more of a hero than Professor X. As you can see, this movie wants you to hate Professor X for some weird reason. And we can't forget about Jean, who is probably the most important and best character in this film. You get to see her struggle with the Phoenix Force, and the actions taken while under the influence of the Phoenix Force, but this part was rushed and needed time to build up over multiple films, not just a short scene in X-Men Apocalypse, which is a movie that's completely ignored in the first place. The reason why big storylines like Infinity War in the MCU work so well is because they set it up over multiple films. They give us time to know these characters and learn their struggles and triumphs. The movies don't do this in the X-Men series that Fox has created. And this is because the X-Men films have been going in the future, going in the past, going in the present. They've been jumping all over time and it doesn't make a coherent story for the overall plot of this universe. A universe needs direction and the Fox X-Men universe does not have a direction. It's even down to these mysterious aliens themselves. The movie barely tells you anything about these aliens. Now I do have to say they did try to tell you things about these aliens, but it's so quick and informationless that you completely forget about it in the next scene. Now the main alien is played by Jessica Chastain and her name is Vuk. Oh man, that sounds like a swear word. But anyways, this character really wants you to know that Jean Grey is a girl and she can do anything a man can do but better. Even Raven partakes in this annoying little thing that the movie tries to do. So up until now I've been pretty negative about about X-Men Dark Phoenix, but let's ask the question, what does X-Men Dark Phoenix do right? For one, the battles were good. There were some really cool moments in this movie, especially Nightcrawler's shining moment that will give you vibes from when he was in the Oval Office in the previous X-Men movies. Jean Grey's Phoenix Force was pretty cool too. It had a sort of Thanos snap effect to it. And same with Magneto. Magneto had some really cool action scenes using his powers. The CGI was also good on the characters and the powers that they were using. There wasn't that rubbery, wonky CGI you can often see in the superhero films. And like I said before, up until that scene after the space mission, the movie was doing good, but for the rest of the film, it just wasn't fun to watch. Now there is no end scene credit, and honestly I didn't bother waiting for one either, but I did google to check if there was one, and there isn't. And the reason why I didn't wait is because Marvel Studios is going to eventually bring X-Men into the MCU. This will more than likely be the last X-Men movie from Fox, and that's why this film doesn't really matter. We're not going to see how this film affects the characters going on, and even if you were to look at the older versions of the X-Men 1 and 2, it doesn't matter because all the other ones don't connect to these movies because Fox has created an X-Men universe that is incoherent because of the time placement of each X-Men film. Overall, X-Men Dark Phoenix was a rushed film that wanted to get one more X-Men movie out before Marvel gets their hands on the X-Men property. In that wake, they created a movie that deconstructs the characters for a storyline that needs more setup than a scene that isn't even connected to this movie. I'm giving X-Men Dark Phoenix a 
3 out of 10. If you guys enjoy this video, I have other movie reviews like the Brightburn review and Godzilla 2 review. Thanks for watching my review and don't forget to comment your thoughts on the movie below. Everyone has an opinion so tell me yours. Don't forget to subscribe for more movie reviews and have that notification bell on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.